you don't have to give up any ownership from your business. You maintain 100% ownership of your startup and recipients, each startup receives $25,000 in that grant funding from the Community Foundation. It is also a full accelerator program. Um, an accelerator program, it is a defined beginning and end where a cohort or a class of startups are selected through a competitive application process and they go through a tremendous amount of startup education. They receive mentorship from some excellent uh, startup CEOs. Um, there's a lot of focus on lean startup and accelerating your startup while you're going through the program. So it's not like your business remains stagnant during this time. You are advancing your startup in terms of access to product development, uh, progress, and also um, accessing sales. Um, there's also time spent about one and a half weeks where we're working with you and our startup CEO coaches provide feedback in preparation for investor pitches. Um, and we'll use those pitches in the culmination of this program, which is our Vote Awards Demo Day. Um, I mentioned that there's a lot of experienced startup CEOs work with us um, as volunteers as part of this program, and it's probably one of the most highly rated aspects of the program. Um, you'll also be assigned to an industry expert as a specific mentor. So depending on the um, up to six startups that are selected, we'll identify an industry mentor for each company through the program. You'll have access to our Vote Award alumni, those that have lived through this and have accelerated their startups as a result of uh, being selected to the Vote Awards. And certainly there's a camaraderie that's built among you as experienced entrepreneurs and as a, a class or a cohort. And as mentioned, and as mentioned, we'll culminate all this in Demo Day. Um, Demo Day is an opportunity for you to debut, if you will, all of the progress that you've made in a formal presentation to the whole startup community. So that'll be coupled, fortunately, this year, a very iconic year, with also the 20th anniversary of the Vote Awards. So since 2000, the Vote Awards have been issuing grants to the very most promising startups in the community. All right, moving on to our next slide here. Who are the ideal applicants for this program? So what we're looking for, and when I say we, I'm talking about um, a selection committee of very experienced entrepreneurs and others that will make the decisions around this particular year's cohort. We're looking for innovative, scalable, startup. So there's a, a level of innovation that's included in the solution you are putting into the marketplace around a problem that you're trying to solve for. Scalable meaning that your business has the capability to grow and to grow quickly. Um, we're looking at for-profit entities and generally these are going to be tech or tech-enabled startups. Um, when we define tech or tech-enabled, we're being very specific that those that might have a very long regulatory path um, uh, may not be considered, right? A long regulatory path, for example, if there's FDA uh, regulations um, and certification that must be gained, that can take quite a number of years. And so this may not be an ideal fit for the vote awards. Um, companies in an ideal application um, stage would be in that seed stage of funding, and there's a parameter here that uh, viable applicants would not have uh, raised more than $500,000, and that excludes any founder's personal investment. So half a million dollars raised in external funding um, is the cap. And we're also looking for startups that have a little bit of traction in terms of either your product development or your customer revenue, one or the other. You're developing product or you may be just approaching a beta test period, perhaps a paid pilot period. You're thinking about customer revenue. You're approaching some early stage customer traction. That would be ideal, but not more than $100,000 in that annual customer revenue. 
The reason why we kind of put these parameters around the ideal applicant is that we want um, those in the cohort to be at about a very similar stage. It makes for um, a much more cohesive cohort and we know how to deliver appropriate programming and expertise and guidance to companies at this particular stage that will have enough impact to allow them to, to grow as a result of this program. Um, importantly, we're looking for independent businesses, not those that are initiatives within an existing business or a corporation or a subsidiary or a corporate spin out. And of course, importantly, because the vote awards does support uh, the economic development of our region, we want to include those startups that are located in our 13 county Louisville region. Um, and so that does include Southern Indiana, as well as Jefferson County and the counties around Jefferson County. Um, and we do check on that. We, we go to the, um, both the Kentucky as well as the Indiana uh, Secretary of State site to look that you are registered for one or the other. And we'll look at the address there as well as on the application to make sure that we are supporting startups that are located in our region. All right, moving on. So if you want to think in ahead of what will I need to have just at your disposal or at your fingertips or to be thinking about when you apply, um, you will want to have your elevator pitch or that one sentence that very succinctly describes what your startup is, what it does, whom it's for. So an elevator pitch, you'll have a broader business summary describing what your company does. Um, you'll want to be able to describe the problem that you're solving for in your particular market and also be able to tell us a bit about your potential solution, right? Um, you can rest assured that um, there will be no proprietary information that is shared. Um, we take confidentiality at the utmost. And so your solution should be written about um, at a level that you are comfortable that you are not sharing anything that might be highly proprietary. So just a comment about that. We want to know very much about your team. We want to know what makes your team successful. Why will you win in this particular market and what you're attempting to do? Tell us about your market. What is the market opportunity? What is the size of your market you're going after? Um, as well as how will you get your product or service to market? A little bit about your sales strategy. When we talk about high level financial projections, this is just simply very high level. Have you received any external outside funding um, from other sources? And if so, how much is that? And then your high level projections. You don't need to go any further than three years out. This is your best estimate as to your uh, financial projections going forward based upon your financial assumptions. So that kind of rounds out what we're generally asking for in the application, kind of at a high level for you. But the other uh, element to your application is just a short video. And this is one to three minutes, a video just so that we can see you, including the founder or founders, telling us verbally a bit about um, the information you've just written in the application. You know, telling us in your own words why you are passionate about this problem that you're trying to solve and the solution that you have um, going forward and, and how you will make money um, with this startup. So one to three minutes, no longer than that, and you can just do that very simply just using your, um, your cell phone, just you know, with your iPhone video capability. All right, and then we'll move forward one more. These are just some of the notable vote alumni um, in past cohorts. Some of these I'm sure will be very familiar companies to you. They were all sitting and thinking at the same time in the same place that you were in the last several years. Um, and they have made some very fine candidates that um, have gone on to do great things going forward in the, in the Louisville region. Some have actually even sold their businesses, which is oftentimes referred to as an exit. 
um, which is nice. Um, and so a couple of those, for example, Sunstrand, uh, Mailhaven are companies that have sold um, not too long ago. Some have continued to grow and grow jobs and employ lots of folks. I'm thinking of Stinger Equipment um, in that case, which has been wonderful. Um, and others are really gaining a lot of traction. So those are some of the notable alums that certainly you will have access to as well. And then finally, these are some important dates um, to make note of. So as we've said, and as I'm sure you all are aware, importantly, apply by May 31st at voteawards.com. And don't forget that as you are working on the application, which you can go back to and return and continue to work, when you are ready and you want us to be able to see your application, you do have to hit that submit button. So just remember to do that or else we can't see it, your final application. Um, the way our selection process works, we'll have a preliminary selection in late June, which will get us to 10 finalists. Those 10 finalists will go through our selection day process with our selection committee. That is scheduled for July 28th. And then we start right away and jump right into it. So the Vote Awards program begins on Thursday, August 6th, and we go for about 10, 11 weeks. And then importantly, um, on October 15th. That is our Vote Awards Demo Day. And importantly this year, that is also the 20th anniversary for the Vote Awards, where um, our vote cohort will be making their presentations to the public. So as we're thinking about dates here, just very quickly to note that we certainly understand that these are exceptional times right now. Our plan for the program is that we will meet in person and go forward. Um, if for some reason we are not in a position to do that or we don't feel we can do that safely, please be assured the program will go forward and we will deliver all of that value um, and all of the benefits of the program in a virtual format. Okay. So from here, what I want to do is just very quickly um, acquaint you with the Vote Awards website. So we'll jump over to that. Um, when you type in voteawards.com, V-O-G-T awards.com, this is the homepage that you'll come to. You will note that it is within the Community Foundation of Louisville's website, but there are some great pages of information here. And very quickly, you will see the, um, the five blue circles right there. We're on the home page, so it's gray. And if we scroll down a little bit on the home page there, you'll just note that there again, we have our COVID ID statement and we have some previous alums um, who have participated and offered their testimonials as well. And you see a little bit of the legacy of the vote awards made possible by Henry Heiser Sr. Um, and then if we scroll back up to the top, back to our circles, um, clicking on about, this gives you, I think, just some, some great information about um, the why the Vote Awards is so important. When you think about your why and why you are creating a startup, we certainly think about why it's important to have the Vote Awards Accelerator Program within the Louisville region. It's about legacy, it's about the future, it's about innovation and entrepreneurship. And certainly these are a number of the various benefactors that have made this possible. Just for your perusal whenever you've got the time to take a look at that history. And don't forget for continued information, you wanna join our mailing list. Um, we wanna make sure that we've got you included in our communication loop. Um, the portfolio, I'll touch on this very quickly. You certainly have the ability to note the impact that the Vote Awards has made financially in the startups that have received grant funding over the years. And you can take a look cohort by cohort, those past Vote Award companies that have benefited from this program. 
um, each of those are through their logo is linked right to their website if you wanted to take a look at that as we go. And we'll come back up to the top. Coming back to our blue circles, how to apply. Okay. And there's Jeremiah's picture right up there. As we scroll down here, this is important information. Um, and I'm going to tell you two key things about it. First, you can click on each of these down arrows and it'll give you important information about what you can win. It'll tell you about the uh, mandatory criteria. We touched a little bit on that in the previous PowerPoint, but this will give you the specific details. Some of the strongly preferred criteria here that the selection committee will be looking for. And then of course the fine print. This tells you a little bit about the fact that the decision of the selection committee is final, et cetera. And then just a couple of bullet points around the fund restrictions meaning what you can use your funds for and what you cannot. And simply, you cannot use funds received to pay down any debt. Okay. You'll also be able to look at uh, some of the requirements in terms of the various different dates and commitments um, and the schedule in the program attendance. So we wanted to just make all of that information available so you would know exactly what the process is, the selection process, the program itself, the criteria for consideration, and then the time commitment that's involved. Okay. And then if we were to click on apply now, this would take you to the, um, the Vote Awards um, application portal. We're using GUST. So it does take you to the GUST site. And that's where you will begin your application. So we won't do this right now, but you would click on submit your company. It'll have you set up your company name and your email. Um, and it'll get you set up with the login and password there, as you can see. That allows you to go back and forth as you complete your application for you to see and work on. And then when you're ready, of course, you want to click on submit now so that that would um, come to us. And then just before we start taking any questions here, I did want to um, just walk you through. I've just pulled up a, a document here to show you exactly what we are looking for in the application. So you can see in this Word document, um, as we scroll down, it looks very much like the, um, what you just saw on the um, application portal. So we're looking, of course, just an overview, give us that elevator pitch, tell us about your company and give us contact information. One thing I'll mention about contact information, sometimes we, in the past, we've had entrepreneurs come up with a new email address for their new startup, and then they forget to go back and check that email address as we might be communicating. So if you do create a new email address, do remember you're using that for purposes of your vote awards application. Um, go ahead and give us any of your social channels you're using, um, and importantly, your management team and why you're the team to win at the uh, problem and solution. Tell us about that problem that you're solving for. Tell us about your target market, who your customers are, and it's how you're planning to target them. Importantly, we'll want to know um, in your business model, how you're planning to make money at, with your startup. This is obviously a program for profits. Tell us about your competitive advantage, what makes you unique compared to any other competitors in the marketplace, and then what is the solution or product or service you're putting out there. A little bit about your go-to-market strategy, how will you get those customers, and then here again, just to reiterate what we're looking for in the financial section is if there's any current funding that you have received, tell us about that and give us your high level three year uh, financial projections. We have a couple very straightforward custom questions um, here. 
Tell us a bit about how would you use or plan to use the 25,000 grants if you're an awardee? Give us the LinkedIn uh, links for all of the founders. Who's going to be responsible for sales? Who's responsible for product development? If you have any um, or have filed any patents, um, your revenue, who's working on this particular um, company, if any of you are full-time, part-time, and then very specifically because of the criteria, have you received more than half a million in funding um, and or have you collected more than $100,000 in revenue in a single year? And again, that's so that the cohort is about the same stage. And one more time to reiterate what county your startup resides in. So that's exactly what you'll be asked for um, in the application itself on the GUST portal. I'm so excited that you all are, are thinking about the vote awards and I encourage you all to apply. Um, this, the application I think in a way is also a great exercise in and of itself because of what it has you think through along the way. So trust me, even that exercise, that effort and the result of that is gonna be very helpful and useful for you. You know how to contact me and reach me if anything should arise. Um, and I wanna go ahead and just close out this session. Um, thank you all for taking the time in yourself and your startup for giving this program consideration. Um, and of course, if I can be of help in any way, you just let me know.